Hello everyone, I'm Jeff, and this is Mr. JD's World. And today, we are in the kitchen. We're going to start today's menu with thick cut boneless pork chops. We're going to add to those pork chops a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and definitely some olive oil. But right there is cinnamon. Cinnamon goes with apples. Apples go with pecans and brown sugar, all toasted up in brown butter. Yes, sir. We're going to have our brown butter cinnamon pork chops today. We're going to throw a side in, which is going to be a good old-fashioned, super simple side of rosemary red potatoes. I hope you're ready to get your ingredients together because this is super simple. with just one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a heaping, one teaspoon of black pepper, two ounces of olive oil. Now we probably won't use all of that, but we'll use a bit. The pork here, we're going to brine for a few moments while we're getting the potatoes and the apples and everything prepped. So to brine, Let's step over to the brining table and we'll show you what we do. We have a very simple brine today. The brine is ice cold water with quite a bit of salt. We're going to add our boneless pork chops into the water. We want the brining water to cover the pork chops completely. They're going to sit here in this brining water now that's ice cold for just a few minutes, long enough for me to prep the vegetables. I repeated that probably 20 times, didn't I? We've already washed the apples, so we'll just core them, slice them right up. I like good sized chunks when it comes to the, uh, the apples cooked with the pork chops. Is that how that's supposed to work? For some strange reason, I don't think so. I may have to call in recruits. Yeah, that was a bit of a waste. Good tools are important, but when I don't know how to use them, I'll improvise. Apples are gonna be good bite-sized pieces. I don't know, maybe the core does work. Because this is a mess. That's how core works. Well, howdy. We're ready to start cooking. Done a little bit of prep work. Now we're going to heat up the skillet. Just a tiny bit of olive oil. The rest of the olive oil is going to be right over here in these potatoes. We use probably a, an ounce, maybe a smidgen over an ounce between the two pots. I have learned not to leave these on the handles while you're cooking. 
they catch fire. I, I, I mean, I, I haven't learned that. I, I assume that. No, I, I learned that. It's going to get hot in here because we're fixing to crank this oven on. had our pork brining and you can see it's still sitting in its water uh oh that's a bit hot isn't it stand back my friends because meat is fixing to hit the pan So we turn the fire up to a medium, even though this old rain is a little difficult to regulate. When we were cooking a couple of days ago, during the pineapple sauces, it got hot in here. So today we're having some good old fashioned, double sweet, double dark, it's black it's well. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let's go around the edges. The only thing we had on this was our brine. We're going to go ahead and add a little salt and pepper now. Maybe even some of the other spices that we want to do. Oh, you just smell 
hour. Oh. You can see now how beautiful and golden these pork chops are. And you can see how beautiful the apples are cooking with the pecans in their butter. The butter is browning up really nicely. The red on the apple starting to disappear. We have our rosemary potatoes over here in our butter bag. We're getting ready to add the garlic to these, and then we're going to toss them in the oven. And look, they're browning up beautifully on the bottom. A lot of rosemary up in there. I'm going to add a few of the final ingredients that we don't want overcooked before we put it into the oven to finish up. First, our brown sugar. We're using light brown sugar. And this is about a half a cup. Yes. A lot of brown sugar. Ooh, oh, look at that deliciousness. Oh, sugary coated caramel apples. Oh, with caramel pecans all mixed in. Can you think of anything better other than it being on your plate? Okay, look at that. I'm going to coat that nice and good. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move that pork chop right down there into the middle of it. Move it over here on this side. Get a nice balance all the way around. There, my friends, are our boneless, thick-cut pork chops, smothered in caramel apple pecan brown butter sauce. It's not done. It's going in the oven to finish off, caramelize, and get thick. And we're done with that. Okay, cinnamon all in there. Brown butter below. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, we're ready to take this little baby and stick it in the oven. Look how beautiful. Is that not stunning? Look at that. Beautiful caramel pork chops in an apple pecan brown butter. Mmm. How about this? Look at those rosemary potatoes. Oh, rosemary and garlic potatoes. It's almost time to start serving this up. Let's set the table, and I hope you stay for dinner.